Right, so it turns out War Thunder test flights have got this like hidden cheat menu that like nobody knows about. Right, look, watch this. Boom. In space. Right, right, and then... This is the best bit. It lets you change all sorts of things, all in real time. You ready, you ready, you ready? It gets better, it gets better, it gets better. Right, you could also... You could also do this. <laughs> We're carrying negative 21 billion. Apparently we have too high speed. <laughs> But of course, we're going to push it to its absolute limits and you're about to see War Thunder like you've never seen it before. It only works in the test flight, of course. You can't just use this to win an ARB match. And presumably the Gaija developers use this to speed up testing flight models and do bug fixing. What happens if you go a thousand kilometers an hour in a Spitfire Mark IIb? If you want to follow along at home, all you've got to do is go to your configuration file and follow the instructions just down in the description. Uh, when you get it all set up, you just go to this website I'm not joking, it, it's not a virus, it's just, you just go to the weird dodgy Gaijin website and then you have your, all your fun. Also, go follow the Twitch channel, I'll be live when this video goes up. Go to the edge of space, Matt. Oh, the edge of space? Alright, so flat earthers exist, right? Checkmate, idiots. Look at the contrails. <laughs> this is the way War Thunder was meant to be played. Can we take off? We just, I think we're stuck to the ground. No, no, we recovered. No, 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 no. Yes, it's... No! No, 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 no! No! If we set the game to 5,000 degrees Kelvin, what happens? The engines! <laughs> the engines! I hear fire. Do you hear that? Do you hear that fire sound? The game thinks we're on fire. Oh, so let's just go to 5,000 meters and then just go down. <laughs> that was so anticlimactic. That was so shit. Bruh, what thought it was such a good game. Can you make a Spitfire go Mac in RB? Right, if we go to 70,000 meters and set the speed to 1,000, Mac.9496, every. Oh! Hang on, hang on, hang on. We're still flying half a ship? No, we're not. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, 10,000 kph is too fast for a Spitfire. What if I go... That's what happens if you go a billion kilometers an hour. <laughs> you just become the ground. Okay, we just went so fast that we destroyed our aircraft but phased through the ground that we exited the map and respawned with the destroyed plane. Whee! <laughs> Vroom. I'm having a wonderful time. Oh dear! What if we just set the, the temperature to 50,000 degrees? Does it break the game? <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Oh, so somewhere between 5,000 kph and 15,000 kph is too fast. What happens if you go 1,000 kph on the runway? You take off. Okay, so what if you go... <laughs> what, so if you, what happens if you just go 10,000 kph on the runway? What happens if you go 100,000 kph on the runway? The game gets very confused, okay. And then saying... What happens if we make the javelin go 4,000 kilometers an hour? <laughs> Mac 1.2 in the javelin. By the way, this is this is full throttle. This is full throttle. Now, we are not moving. Engines have reached 15,000 degrees centigrade and climbing. We're going less than a kilometer an hour on indicated airspeed. <laughs> right, that was 500,000. What about 5 million? <laughs> At 1.2 million, 1.3, 4, 6. <laughs> we can kind of take off. Flaps, maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then we just go three, two, one, roll. <laughs> I'm an actual Beyblade. <laughs> Wee. Wee. 
so we're currently cruising at a speed of 850 kph. What if we just go suddenly to one? Whoa. That was cool. <laughs> that was cool, I like that. Okay, we got close. We got close to a Mac, Mac Spitfire Mark IIb. We got 0.97. What if we do, we go to really high up and we go to 10,000 kph. The wings fell off. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the ambient temperature of the game to one trillion degrees centigrade. Here we go. <laughs> the, the game stack overflowed and went back all the way around to zero. <laughs> Right, so if we just speed things up a bit. Okay, don't set the game speed to 1000 times speed. It breaks your computer. Okay, okay. What if we go for a... Okay, let, let, let's not go crazy. Let's go for a billion degrees centigrade. Oh, I'm an idiot. There we go. <laughs> Look at the number. <laughs> oh, dear. If we set the planet to 30 degree Kelvin... Look at this. Now, that's what I call AOA. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> We're out turning our own smoke trail. <laughs> and then if we get some speed. Uh oh. Right, what happens if we go to 100 times speed? <laughs> oh my god, look at the people. They're just going. The people are just going into orbit. They're having a dance, bro. <laughs> it's so good. Go into the negatives. What, negative speed? I don't think it'll let me. Negative one sp No, no, it doesn't let you go any lower. <gasps> Look at the clouds! The clouds are going so fast! The game just can't compute where to place the, the objects of the people. There's that man running in stasis forever. Poor bloke. Everyone is phasing in and out of existence. What is gonna happen when we get fall off this carrier? <laughs> and all the radio messages are happening all at the same time. Recover, recover, recover. Hey. <laughs> this, this is the best thing. Drop the base. Okay, what about 1500 kph? Mac 1.4 in a Spitfire before the wings ripped off. Let's go. We, we, we experienced Mac 1.4 for entire three seconds of flight in the Spitfire Mark IIb.